Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while and I'm sorry for not posting any more content lately um, or for quite a while in that matter. Uh, it's been probably like a couple months or so. Um, I haven't really been keeping track. I've been just super slammed, super busy and super engaged in other things. Um, but I will say this, I did just take a camping trip the other weekend and I went out to Smoke Mott with one of my buddies and uh, that's near Cherokee for anyone who uh, doesn't know where Smoke Mott is. It's a really cool place to uh, car camp for one. I think a lot of people go there to sightsee and car camp, um, but two, there's a wealth of trail systems uh, that run from Smoke Mont. Uh, it's also near Kling's, Klingman's Dome, which is a very popular tourist kind of attraction. It's um, uh, just really neat, really scenic. Um, there's also a visitor center, a Kunalafti visitor center there right near Smugmont, like literally right down the road. Um, if anyone has not been to Smugmont or in the surrounding area, I highly suggest going and visiting. Uh, it's really just something interesting to see, especially right now uh, at this time of year when the leaves are starting to turn and uh, everything is starting to cool off and it's not as hot and there's, you know, not as many bugs out and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I just took a two-day, two-night trip with one of my buddies uh, that I've known for about a year now, and um, it was decent. Uh, we ended up hiking to one of my favorite camp spots. Uh, I've been there, that would be my third time now, and um, that's the first time I've been with him, and it was actually his first backpacking trip ever. Um, he's hiked before, but he's never camped after uh, hiking, uh, backpacking to the site and, you know, setting up and everything. So it was pretty interesting to just kind of teach him, uh, you know, some of the basics and uh, had a good time. It was like perfect weather the other weekend, um, just completely sunny the whole time uh, that we were there. It felt nice. Uh, there's a lot of people um, where we started, but, you know, not many people were up where we went the first night. Um, there's two other people there in the campsite, and we got the best campsite um, spot, uh, which is uh, just this little spot right by a running stream that's coming down from the mountain. And uh, it's just, it's fabulous. I love it. And... Um, had a good night. So uh, a lot of you might know that a lot of my other time has been spent on renovating a house in the, the last few months. Um, I've been just busting my ass pretty much constantly uh, besides, you know, doing that and um, working out and just a lot of other kind of uh, things that need to be done. But this house is basically my main priority right now. As you can see, if you pay attention to some of my other videos, um, this is not the apartment that I was staying anymore. Um, this is the den to my new house. And uh, it's a work in progress. Uh, as you can see, I painted my walls and I've got this uh, awesome long ass couch um, courtesy of my fiance's sister. Shout out to Kimberly. Way to go. Thank you so much. Um, she got this for us for free and I like free things a lot. Uh, it really helps. Uh, actually almost every piece of furniture in this house I have not bought. It's been given to me and that's definitely helped me on the cost of setting up a house, <laughs> uh, especially with as much renovation as I've put into this house. And let me tell you, it's been a lot. Um, everything from uh, getting a new roof, 
uh, put on the house to uh, water issues that I've had in the crawl space, uh, built new joist systems. Uh, I put in a hole jack system under this floor uh, to support the floor and uh, even it up. I've done a shit ton of kitchen work. The kitchen looks completely different from where it was. Uh, got a new garage put on it, uh, all new doors basically except for the front door. That door that you just saw a minute ago, that's still the original door that was on the house when we bought it. Um, and uh, we're not even, I'd say not even like halfway, not even uh, maybe a little bit over a quarter of the way done with this house. Um, I've done a lot of painting uh, lately, a lot of sheetrock work. And uh, so that's been fun, um, kind of something less challenging to do, but still time consuming. And it still takes time to uh, just make sure it looks right and stuff. And uh, I'm just a person that uh, I want to make sure that I do it right. And I want to do it right the first time. So I take my time, um, which is not a bad thing, but I am a little bit OCD on things and it makes it frustrating sometimes just dealing with myself on a day-to-day -day basis, working on a house. It can get overwhelming, um, but it's just a work in progress. And, you know, this is me at mine and Kayla's first house together, and it's still exciting. Uh, I'm super excited to be in this house, to uh, have met, you know, some of my neighbors. They're cool, too. Um, the location is great, and, you know, if anything, I know that uh, just from the experience of others and just learning a quick little tidbit of real estate myself, uh, you can change everything about the house except the location. And I think we uh, hit spot on on that. So um, I'm really uh, pleased with my investment into this house and uh, I'm looking to make a return on it for sure. Uh, this is definitely what you call the definition of a fixer upper. And uh, I've done great with it so far. Um, it's mainly just me working on this house. Um, my dad has been gracious enough to give me some of his time and uh, some, to teach me some things. Uh, he's been in this stuff for many, many years. This is his bread and butter. This is what he loves to do. Um, this is not work to him. This is uh, something that he really loves to do, and he's kind of just passed on to me. And, um, you know, now I'm giving my go of it, and uh, we'll see what comes out of it. Uh, I'm definitely looking to uh, get into uh, some real estate, you know, especially with this first house, getting my investment in, and then uh, potentially just rolling it on into the next house, uh, few years down the road after I finish this one off and um, you know the future is big and uh, also a little scary so we'll see how that goes and um, I'll keep y'all updated on that it's a little bit late now it's about 2 a.m. Um, me and Kayla actually just uh, had our year anniversary from being engaged yesterday on the 6th uh, Technically, it's the 7th now of October, and um, October is a busy month for us. We've got a lot of stuff going on, including her birthday, and uh, we got a lot of family events coming up, um, good and bad. Uh, her um, One of her family members uh, died a while back ago, so I'm going with her to a remembrance ceremony for her uh in the near future actually on her birthday which is unfortunate but i'm gonna celebrate the, her birthday uh ahead of time so um yeah it's it's definitely uh life is difficult and um you know it, it never just stops uh, it always continues and um you know it's just a person's ability to uh see the good and to make that progress and uh, just don't look back. Uh, that makes it, at least for me, in my opinion. Um, you know, a lot of stuff has uh, happened in the past few years to 
shape my view of how things should be or how things are. And uh, I think, uh, you know, these few years have been a real eye-opener for me.